welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm building the rear irs xl for the mercedes and uh, here are the parts all the parts i have got the sprocket disc and the hub even got the splines for the hub which i need to fit it over here and even i need to shorten the XL up and uh, this is going to be the bearing assembly with two bearings set of two bearings this is out of a quad bike i'm going to use it over here it's uh, not a big thing this is just ready made that's what i chose this thing out instead of making it up so now the plan over here is to just get this both attached together with uh, the sprocket and this fitted over on the top of this cup the bearing cup if I explain now, you won't understand. It's better if I just uh, keep on making it and we'll explain as we go on. So let's just start by turning up this thing.
finally guys we got to a position where we can almost call this thing a rolling chassis yes i need to do a couple things on this thing like uh, the shocks needs to be mounted the rear shocks i have got a shock big shock with me which i had bought for the tune buggy but uh, i wasn't able to fit over there it was kind of a little light for two pair two persons to hold up the weight of two person i think so that shocks will work over here it has got plenty of travel about five inches of travel so i think so it will be enough for here and also guys the rear end has got 10 plus inches of travel which is a huge according to the power wheel this is way lot like according to the smaller size it is way lot 10 plus inches of travel at the front i think so it's about uh, five to six inches max that's it but at the rear it's having like 10 inches more than 10 inches and yes i'm going to keep that 10 inches of working so we will find that thing in the later videos like in the next build next part we can say but uh, until now yes temporarily got the seat mounted out like two bolts the rear two bolts are still remain to be mounted up and yes uh, the the frame is still not mounted out the front is uh, almost complete we can say i still need to strengthen up the front end uh, like uh, adding some sort of uh, pipe bracing over here and uh, yes the main thing of all i need to build up a counter shaft for this thing and for this i want the same i want this thing to be same like a bmw like uh, we have got a reverse in that so I want this thing to have a reverse also. So in order to do that means I have to get a reverse kit. And yes, uh, the reverse kit which I am looking over here is uh, not available most of the places. But still I am trying to find out. As I get that means I can just go ahead and do all the counter shaft and uh, counter shaft or jack shaft whatever you we call that. The assembly for the engine, the shaft needs to be little bit uh, of working on the shaft from the engine and uh, yes this whole thing will be done as I get the reverse kit without the reverse kit I cannot just make the counter shaft on this thing so yes hopefully in the next video we are just going to continue building up uh, the frame just now it's just the four pipes which is not at all welded together it's just the four pipes holding the rear and the front I need to add up some sort of pipe for me to have a footrest somewhere over here. I'm going to keep this level, the same level as this fly board I'm using over here. The same level, my legs are going to go. And uh, just many other things. Hopefully guys you enjoyed my video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button below and turn on the notifications. So you won't miss out any of my awesome build, future awesome build. I have got another project coming up soon. So I will finish this thing up. Then we can jump over to the dune buggy. Yes, I haven't closed up that project. It's there and like, but uh, my brother forced me that he need, needs uh, a thing to be written. So that's what I'm building this thing for him. After this, we'll be back on the dune buggy. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.